Hello everyone, this is Rafael Alvarez and this is Alvarez Metalworks. So I'm going to do just a super quick video on this speed square that I picked up. I actually just came in the mail today. Ordered it on um, Christmas Eve, but it just came in the mail today. Let me get this in better light so that you guys can actually read what's printed on here while I talk to you. Um, hopefully it's not getting any glare, there we go. Um, this is not your typical speed square. If you look right there above my finger that's wiggling, there's an, a, a screw there, basically, an adjustment. You can, you can loosen that up, and that whole arm will swing forward or swing up, and you can set it at certain, certain degrees. And a co-worker of mine, they had one of these at work, and the second I saw that, I was like, I've got to have that. <laughs> okay. Normally a speed square is pretty simple, you know, you just set it up against whatever it is and you got a 90 degree angle here and you got a 45 here. Um, you got degree, degree indicators here, you've got, you know, speed squares are something that a lot of carpenters use for pitches on roofs. So you have some of that, you know, some of that stuff in here, which is something that I don't really need. Um, but this, I bought this specifically because when I'm building things here in my shop, I like the idea that I can just loosen this up and set this at, let's say, 30 degrees. Now, if you read here, it says use the top edge for your setting. So you use that top edge to set it at 30 degrees. Tighten it down. Now I can set this square right here and I've got a 30 degree angle right on that edge. So it's one of those things that I thought was really, really quite neat. You know, and it's 30 degrees off of this point. So this would be zero. Now I've got 30 degrees off of that. So it's a really cool little tool. It's like 10 bucks or something like that. I'll put a link down in the description where you can find this on Amazon. It is a prime item so that you can get the free shipping and, and get it fast if you're a prime member. Um, I think it's a really quality deal. It's not plastic. It, it is metal. Um, one thing that I'm going to to say to you guys, and my coworker complained about it a little bit. When you, when you loosen this up and you set this arm all the way to a stop like that and you tighten it up, it's not 90 degrees, okay? It's too far down, which is okay. If you look here, you see the zero mark? Get this to focus for you guys. It's The arm is just below the line, so you need to raise it up so that it is right on the center of the line and it will be at a true 90 degrees. So, just keep that in mind. You'll have to get used to where exactly you need to set this edge of this adjuster in relation to the actual line here that you're you're measuring to, the degree. Um, but it's really, really handy tool. I like it a lot. Um, if I had only, if I had some some comments to make to Stanley on how they could improve this, it would be to make this larger so that it is a wider footprint. Um, I think that would help substantially for fabricators, not maybe not for people that are framing homes and stuff like that, but for, for, for fabricators, I think it would. Um, so just a really cool tool. So I thought I would share that with you guys. And if you're looking at this here in the background, sit tight, there's gonna be a, a review of this, um, the Rapid Air, Air System. I'm getting ready to install this in my shop. I'm waiting on a, an electric motor for the compressor, a single phase electric motor. And I've got to order in a few more parts to make this system work. And once I have everything, I'm going to do a review and an installation video. So, but this video is about that. Thank you guys for watching. Like always, subscribe, comment, like. Uh, make sure to check out RourkeSupply.com. They're helping to make these videos possible. And, you know, and plus you guys get a 10% discount when you use coupon code METAL. That's their thank you to you and my thank you to you. So, talk to you guys later.